the defensive end, a big reason why. Utah finishes the season at Oklahoma City Friday. You know, you and I were talking about this before the game started. The number of contested threes that Lillard takes over the course of his career, and Portland does as a team. I mean, he, he basically has had to absorb a good percentage of the ball handling. Good pass by Royce O'Neal. Nurk gets caught napping. 11 4 Utah. Playoff spot with a win plus a Laker loss. Nurkic can't get the tip, and the rebound controlled by Gobert, who is number two in the NBA in rebound. The last time Utah, as Gobert gets the layup on a nice pass from Ingles. CJ McCollum gets open on the baseline and can't connect. The Jazz have yet to miss a shot, and this two man game is something else. Rudy and as George Niang gets a three to go. 42%. And Utah is a team right now shooting 67% as Anthony misfires on the other end. As elite as he is defensively, the, the area in which they set the screen for Dame and the amount of ground Gobert has got to cover. And tracked down by Simons before it goes into the backcourt. Cantor facing up now, trying to go right at the shot blocking Gobert, and it wouldn't fall. Well, how about that pass by Ingles? Clarkson hangs, can't get it to fall, tapped out by Gobert nicely. Lillard keeps it this time, goes to the left hand, and he's fouled. So to Terry's point, we talk about Utah being fourth in offensive efficiency, third in defensive efficiency, and they try very hard not to give up any quarter threes. They give up a number that is amongst the fewest in the league. They try to get you into that mid-range because obviously analytically that's the, the one that everybody wants to give up. Ingles into traffic. They work it to the corner. Only for three. Off the heel, but right to go bare. And Cantor doesn't want to pick up that third foul. Ingles with an air ball. You know, how did he get it back and into his shooting motion so quickly? Go bare from Ingles. Beautiful offense there by Utah. Ingles with four assists. Gobert sets the screen, and Ingles pays it off. Swishing home a triple. He had 41 against the Warriors Monday. He's got 16 tonight. Nurkic tried to throw it down as he was being pushed. He does his job not allowing the bucket to go down. They don't Good defensive team. And for Terry Stotts, that's added up. All of those things he has touched on, including that, know your. Nine straight years, 1,500 points, 400 assists. Only Damian Lillard and Oscar Robertson have done that. Utah with possession down three, six seconds to go. Clarkson hoisting a deep one, an air ball. There's O'Neal with a putback. No, tipped in though by Gobert with 1.1 left. Seconds to go. Clarkson hoisting a deep one, an air ball. There's O'Neal with a putback. No, tipped in though by Gobert with 1.1 left. Seconds to go. Clarkson hoisting a deep one, an air ball. There's O'Neal with a putback. No. Tipped in though by Gobert with 1.1 left. Rebounded by Clarkson. Utah with possession down three. Six seconds to go. Clarkson hoisting a deep one. An air ball. There's O'Neal with a putback. No. Tipped in though by Gobert. A week off until the playoffs start. Foul was on Covington, his second. One of the interesting things here in the second half. Field goal attempts, three-point makes. They lead the league. In three-point makes per game, 16.8. First in three-point attempts, 43.2. You see why this backcourt is as lethal as they are. Blazers with their largest lead, then the deflection. McCollum to Powell. Norm wants to join the party. Oh, Norm! And Norman Powell, it slips out of his hand. How many misses? That's a mentality. Half of their shots tonight basically they come from three-point land. That's normally the case. Nurkic with a hard screen. McCollum missed the Nurkic trying to get the handle does on a low pass. Shot clock at two. Nurkic goes it. Gobert missed it. Got it back. And then Gobert sends it away. Going to stay though with the Blazers. Utah with an eight. Lillard against Oney. Rocks the baby. Fires the three. 
Too strong. Rebounded by Gobert. I mean, 46 of your 86 have come from those two men. Well, the other thing Portland's doing is protecting the ball. Only three turnovers by the Blazers tonight and none. And Gobert's got to catch and dunk. Matt Thomas getting his first minutes on the floor. Quinn looking for some offense. Thomas, a sharp shooter. Off to George. Niang runs by Carmelo, gives it up to Rudy. One bounce. Nurkic is all over his back, and it's going to be Rudy's out of hard, bounds off Gobert. He's having a hard time just hanging on to the ball. He's, he's claiming a big game for the Suns as well, because if Utah loses this game, Phoenix will be back within a game. And they have the tiebreaker, the Suns do. They swept Utah, beat them three times this year. 11 point lead for Portland. Three and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. McCullum trying to shake Bogdanovich, gets him to move to his left, but can't knock down the shot. Utah trying to get a transition basket. Ingles, no, they have just two fast break points in this game, but there's Gobert. Utah trying to get a transition basket. Ingles, no, they have just two fast break points in this game, but there's Gobert. It's second team All NBA back in 2017. Third team All NBA each of the last two years. We'll see where he ends up this year on first team. So I think Gobert you're right. maybe slides up from third to second team. You made a great point as it relates to, to voting for all NBA because of the injuries like Would the league ever institute a minimum number or percentage of games played in order to be eligible? Column again this time. He does turn it over Here's Bogdanovich gotta have it He's 0 for 5 from three-point land 